Hello uh, welcome to Snooker Pro Tips. This is the third clip uh, in the series of Pink to Yellow. Again it was requested by Chris Pedersen. Uh, I'd like to thank Chris for requesting the clip. Uh, I, I've taken a little bit of time for doing it. I've had to try and work out how to explain it the best, how to go about it the best. Uh, and actually this is the third clip so it tells you the, the, the work that goes into it. Uh, so what we've got is is pink to yellow. Obviously, uh, most times we'll use blue or black, but there are occasions when you finish on the pink, so you have to play the pink. Uh, so what I've got set up now is a dead straight pink. Now the one thing you'll do with it, it uh, in the, this corner, again, there's nothing you can do with it. So the best you can hope for is run it straight through. Uh, try and pop. The, obviously, you're concentrating on the pink to the corner, but it's just a straight run through shot. It's as simple as that. So you try and keep everything as simple as you can, everything as smooth as you can. Keep everything nice and smooth, and then you try and put the pink in the bottom corner. And even there, although I'm not hard enough, I've potted the pink, yes, I'm not hard enough, I'm still going to have some sort of shot at the yellow. Obviously, I would like to be a little bit firmer and get the whiter in that position, and obviously I've got a simple yellow to the corner. Everything changes now when we sort of go off straight. So, so now instead of being straight, we're going to go three quarters. This now is where the middle pockets come into play. Nothing changes particularly with this shot. It's a run through shot again. But the one thing is we're now getting to the centre pocket, which is, uh, makes the pot just a little bit more trickier. But again, the key to this is pace. So all it is, is just a gentle run through. You see there, I've probably over it that just about I've got a shot at the yellow, so I'm not too bad. I have got a cut at it, but that's basically that shot. So now, what we're going to move on to is the half ball. Although this could be a run through, the danger is, is that in this position you will hit the blue. So what it actually becomes is a stun shot. And again, you don't have to hit it too hard. The white's going to try, it's travelling forward anyway. So actually, it's just, just a smooth shot. Again, the difficulty is, is with it being the middle pocket, because the near knuckle always comes into the equation. So the important thing is, make sure you concentrate firmly on potting the pink, and then just stun the pink into the centre pocket. So just below the centre... Again, there, now you can see that the white's moving down. Again, I probably played a little bit firm, but I'm not bad on the yellow there. I'm pretty straight, so I could knock, knock the straight yellow in. And the last one, obviously, for this side, again, I've gone the wrong way here, haven't I? So I'm, doing, I'm actually doing quarter ball last. Instead of, instead of the other way around. So this is actually the quarter ball now. Now this shot now in particular is a little bit trickier. I mean normally what you would say is you're going to take it to the far corner. You can take it to the far corner but also you can sort of play quarter ball and screw the pink into the centre. Obviously if, if it doesn't go to the corner there could be a ball in the way. So you would pop the pink to the centre, screw it in off the side cushion and then finish on the pink. Hopefully I'll pop the pink and get the shot at the same time. Just missed, but you can see where I've actually gone with that. So I'll put that on again, try again. So quarter ball pink to the centre. Again, more than likely, 100% you would go to the far corner. But if there's a ball in the way and you can't go to the far corner, then you've got to go to the centre. So it's worth practising both. Time. And you can see there, nicely off the side, nicely on the yellow. Okay. So now what we've got is the other side. And this is now where that little bit of knowledge comes in because obviously you want finish on the other side for the pink, sorry for the yellow, but the blue now comes into the equation. So obviously if we're straight, 
we're just going to run it in. If it is now we go slightly off straight, I think the best place to put the camera. There. So if we go slightly off straight now, obviously what we've got is now that the blue is going to come into the way, and also we won't get a good position on the yellow. So from this, this sort of position, we can't do that. And what we've, we've got to do is go off the side cushion. So now this becomes a stun shot into the side cushion and down for the yellow. Just missed the pink, but you can see now I'm actually going down towards the yellow. So we'll set that one again. So this is three quarter ball. You see, I made it that time. White's going down for the yellow, and there we are. So what I've got now here is, is an off ball, and again, this is roughly the same shot again. The one thing with this shot now is you've got to play it a little bit firmer. And what that requires you is at the middle of the white, nice and firm. So what the white's actually going to do is go down in this direction. Again, we can't run it through really because the blue's in the way. So it's a stun shot down into that area, and it's all about pace. Again, there you can see the white going down. Obviously, I want to go a little bit further. So that one more go. But again, even though I'm short, at least I'm going to have a shot there at the yellow of some sort. Whether it be a pot, whether it be a safety shot, at least I'm still in control of the game. So I'll put that on there once more. See this time now I have got the white sort of travelling down there and now I have got a shot at the yellow to the corner. And the last one is when it's just that little bit straighter into the centre part. Obviously I'm trying to work my way around. So now I'm just that little bit fuller on the white and into the centre and all this is is just a straight run through. If it's just slightly off straight, and it's just a case of concentrating on the, on the pink, run it through, but anywhere near the blue. There you can see, nicely on the yellow. I hope this answers all your questions, Chris. Uh, like I say, it's taken me a little bit of time just work out how I was going to do it, how I was going to try and explain it to the best of my ability. Uh, I apologise for any pinks I've missed during the course of this clip, or course of the clips before. Uh, I try and do everything in one take wherever I can, so it, was, it just saves on time, basically. It's been Snooker Pro Tips. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Any comments, any questions, please don't hesitate. I'll try my best to get back to you, if it's possible for me to do so. Uh, like I say, on YouTube, uh, they mess about with the messaging system and the, the comments uh, system, and it does make it difficult for me sometimes to get back in touch with you. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the clips, Chris. I hope they answer all your questions. Uh, good luck with uh, any competitions you enter over there in Canada. Uh, it's been Snooker Pro Tips. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching.